After our boat sank, I was the only refugee to reach the shore. I held my husband's hand until the very last second. I can still feel it. The nails of his fingers sticking into mine, you know? The first night he said to me, let's share our memories. I remember I was sort of afraid, but um, <laughs> and he smiled and we hit the switch together and then I felt everything. <laughs> oh, for the first time I was, I was living all of his love for me. It, it felt so warm and so strong that it, it almost hurt. For the last three years, every day has been our first day. <laughs> the weather was so hot that day. The streets stank of this awful smell of burning plastic. I walked with the other children across town until we were outside of Paris. No one fired. The war was over. I don't know if I'll ever find the courage to give these memories to my son. But I'm relieved to know that they are all safe and secure. Thanks to my Sensen, I choose to remember every defining moment of my life. The good ones and the bad. Thanks to my Sensen, my husband lives on. Here. And here. Is this a commercial? It's a commercial, yeah. Weird, because I don't want to remember any part of my life. No, I forgot the whole thing. <laughs> it's probably best that way. Yeah. They're like, do you want to remember? And then you remember, and you're like, never mind. Yeah, except for the parts that we tell you guys, which are like horrifying. <laughs> Good thing those are the things that stick with us. Uh, so we can remember those forever. Great. It's forever stuck in the repeating mode. <laughs> Post memory wiped. Send send away new memory content. Good day. She's Can you fine. hear me? Whoa. Yes. What is your name? Mirren. What year? What did you say? Mirren. Damn. Now that's a first. Not to worry. We'll scrape away those last memories. What year is it? I, I don't know. It's 2084. Do you know where you are? No. Not so resistant after all. Thank you for your cooperation. <sighs> Dr. Quaid. Yes. This subject is displaying some resistance. Complete the substitution protocols, then send her to me. I'll erase the last barriers myself. Yes, Doctor. Her outfit reminds me of, um... What's her name? Lulu? Leela? Leela. Leela from yeah. The Fifth Element. As soon as you were like, her outfit reminds me of I was like, it's gonna be Leela. When I was playing this- Good day. Raise your head, please. Thank you. Now stand up. Don't tell me what to do, robot. Please follow the orange line to your next assignment. Fuck you, robot. Don't tell me what to do. I'm my own woman. Do not wander from the designated path. Can someone help me? Please obey the staff. I know we'll attend to you as quickly as we can. Hey, did you get the big 
You know, this uh, reminds me a little bit of Ghost in the Shell, the TV series, mm -hmm. where the guy would like hack people's eyeballs so that they couldn't see him. Move forward, please. Memory loss can be disorientating. It is normal to feel periods of heightened anxiety. Breathe deeply and know that you are in a safe environment. Memory loss <laughs> is just the complete loss of who you are and all your values. Please stay calm. Don't worry, you'll just feel like your brain is being scraped out through your sinus cavities. Everything is fine. <laughs> Dr. Quaid is a world-renowned specialist, and he is dedicated to the successful treatment of Egypt. So I know this is a super serious scene, but when that guy was, like, moving around... It was creepy, right? No, I was actually like, wow, you, you think they could have designed some less squeaky suits? They were like... <laughs> Please stay calm. We are only erasing who you are. <laughs> Soon you will feel nothing. <laughs> I wonder if this is another marriage metaphor. <laughs> People are gonna be so mad if we say that. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think it actually is. I'm just making jokes. Very good. So, Stacy, would you get a brain implant? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too keen on the idea of like people putting things that aren't mine into my body. I just don't understand what the appeal would be for like, oh, store your memories. Like, I don't. I already remember shit every day that I don't want. Maybe I could delete it. That's good. Yeah. But then that would change who I am. Yeah. Because if I didn't have those horrible memories, I wouldn't try to avoid being a horrible person anymore. You know, someone... This is a lot. Okay, go ahead. Someone asked me once, like, if you could go back and change anything in your life, like, what would it be? And I was like, nothing, because I don't know what consequences that would have on my personality or who I am. Because everything that's happened in my life up until this point has made me the person that I am right now. And let me tell you guys, stacy has been through some shit. <laughs> and, you know, when she says I wouldn't change anything, that means something. <laughs> and I know that people are like, oh, well, your life wasn't that bad. I'm like, no, <laughs> guys, listen. <laughs> it was pretty bad, so put some validation because I wouldn't change anything either because I Please stand in line and wait for your turn before sitting down on the chair because the reason why yeah. I'm the way I am is because I remember being somebody who wasn't yeah. who I am now and I like every day I'm like I never want to be that person again I'm going to be somebody else and like because you don't choose to be a good person well I mean you know you're just not a good person you choose to be a good person yeah no. I agree yeah Nilla. Can you hear me? Yes. They're about to wipe your brain, Nilla. Don't let them do it. I need to create a diversion. Be ready to move when I say. Who are you? I'm the voice you have to listen to if you want to live. Don't leave me alone. Move forward. It makes me wonder who was she before she had her brain wiped. Move forward, please. Fine, Clearly not. somebody that someone Very cares good. about. Or... Member oh. anomaly. Temporary quarantine established. Thank you for your patience. That got their attention. Nilla, the large metal shutter is going to raise on your left. If you understood me, move your head. I'm linked to your sensei. I'll feel it. The door. Go under it. Now. So, you're interpreting this person, this, that guy, in her head or whatever? I don't know. I... It's, like, you think it's somebody who cares about her, but, like... Not necessarily that somebody cares about her in a personal way, but... What that, she represents, or...? That she has a connection to somebody. That she's not, like... A loner? Oh, yeah. She's either important to somebody for some reason, or... Like, that there's a reason that somebody wants her to be alive and wants her to be the way she is. True. 
Whenever I have somebody Unattended speaking in my head. In area. <laughs> Hold on, let me finish that after. <laughs> right. Let me finish that thought after this cutscene happened. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh dear. What? That reminds me of that thing from Mobocop. But as I was saying, whenever I have something in my head from a video game, it's never really someone you can trust. But that thing reminds me of the thing from Robocop, remember? I, I trust um, the voices in my head. They uh, always tell me to do the best thing. Right. Take it. Get up. You've got to keep going. I hate that just because somebody's telling me what to do, it makes me not want to do it. Like, get up. I'll lay right here. I don't give a shit what you think. Get up. I don't give a fuck. Whoa. Where am I? You're almost there. Slide into a casket. Quickly. We're gonna matrix ourselves out of here. a lot of bodies. What is it, this being it's really weird because you find out that most of those bodies aren't actually dead. They're just throwing them out. So they're alive? You'll see in a second. Alive is an interesting uh, word to use. Yeah. Like they have their memory wiped and so they're just no good. They're just empty shells and so they throw them out. You'll see in a second. I've only played like an hour and a half into this until I was like, nope. We're let's playing it. <laughs> I was the one that said we should. I was hesitant because it had weird reviews, and but apparently those reviewers were idiots. There's lots of idiots out there. <laughs> Nilan, are you okay? No, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here now. Calm down. My name is Edge. You have to trust me, sis. I just did, bro, and now I am trapped in a coffin! <sighs> I must prepare you for what is waiting outside. The enemy is Memorize, a corporation that has digitized and commoditized memories. They call it Sen Sen Technology, and the world is addicted to it. You follow? Yes. You were a memory hunter, Nilla, the best. Other hunters merely pillage memories, but you can remix them. And above all, you are an errorist, just like me. Why did they do this to me? We were a revolutionary fighter, and my best agent. We all fought to assure that no firm might build a monopoly on all human memories. But I failed. We were rounded up and imprisoned. Oh, 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 this is all very interesting, but I really have to get out of this coffin now! Oh, oh, oh. The currents are going to take you to Slum 404. Once you've landed, I'll tell you my plan. One thing is though, it's like, why should I believe anything he says? Just because, I don't know, I just immediate, immediately am like, why should I believe you? How do I know that you're not part of whatever? So the thing that I was going to say was that pretty much any time I read, a, read reviews and mm -hmm. there's a bunch of people whining about how it's not really a game, I'm like, I'll check that out. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's not really what you like? I like it then. Yeah. Sometimes that bites me in the ass, but sometimes that makes me find a really good game. Yeah. Like, as in uh, Sunset. Sunset, Sunset was, was not good, but Gone no. Home was good. Yeah. <gasps> Listen. Uh. Johnny is crying. <laughs> so these are people who had like their brains erased, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> oh, brother. Alive? <laughs> Mine first thief. Mine first thief. Look. A new ass. 
pain is shared now. Fame is lost now. A new us. Tears and grins. Lost. Look! A new us. Pain is shared now. Dark pain is lost now. Been searching a long time now. and grins. Get up, get up. Sister? Meet. How about friend? <laughs> I'm not part of your tribe. Is that it? I don't want to fight you. You're gonna have to, Nil, and these guys will kill you. Use your presence. So here's the combo lab, blah, blah, blah. We do his stuff, and then... Basically, you uh, get presents, which is just... You can make your own combos. Whoa. Are they... See how they're flying yeah. to your sense then? It's really weird because it makes me wonder like where are they where, where are they going? <laughs> and they're disappearing? Like is their sense going into our sense? I don't know. I think we're like gaining their brain memories. Power? Yeah. That's what I'm going to assume. What are they? Yeah. Leapers. Miserable castoffs left to rot in the depths of Neo Paris. Miserable? Monstrous, more like. That's rude. They are the abandoned children of our Sen Sen age. Simply humans, like you or I. But cast as shadows of our shame. Something we are meant to fear. Huh. Another justification for the errorous cause. Who's that? What I find interesting is that she, re she responds with disgust, because... In her head, she's never seen them before. Mm -hmm. But the guy's like, no, these are like what you would have been, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what she would have been if they had been able to wipe her memories completely. Yeah. Okay, you need to get out of here. Go find Headache Tommy. I told him you were back in the game. Who? He runs a bar at the top of Slum 404. Start by climbing out of this dump, and I'll give you directions as and when. So here's where it gets a little Tomb Raider-esque. <gasps> yes! Stacy is all about Tomb Raider-like <laughs> gameplay. She's all about it. Yeah, I love just like the like, climbing and like jumping around. I don't know why. It's like such a simple part of it. Oh! It's us! Remember, Maggie told you first. Scandal at La Stacy really is all about women doing platforming elements, pretty much. Does it have a woman? Are we doing platforming elements? I'm in. Sometimes there's some light stuttering because we're on PC when a new area is being loaded. Creepy, huh? Yeah, they're faces. The environments but... in this game are so well designed, I think. This looks like a game that I would really enjoy. Well, Edge. you're playing it. <laughs> who is this Tommy guy? Tommy was your closest friend. A former memory hunter who's still faithful to our cause. His bar is in a cargo hull over the canal locks in Slum 404. The Leaking Brain. You can't miss it. I meant, like, if somebody were to say, like, let's create a game that Stacy would love, this looks... This is it. Yeah. Future. Futuristic. Things are falling apart. Platforming. Kick-ass female lead. Amnius are, like... They're pretty much codex entries. I will read them at the end of each episode in the post credit so you guys can hear them. But we won't clog up the gameplay. So, if 
what I can tell from the hour of gameplay that I've done is that there's different districts depending- You observed all day at the Leaky Brain. Today's specials, crunchy crab cake a la Tommy and sewer <laughs> shrimps in slum sauce. Ooh. So there's different um, districts based on your income from what I can tell. Yeah. So the lower districts will have those weird guys in it. And then there's like the higher end districts where people just eat memories all day. Yeah. Because they don't really want to think about the class disparity. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Paris as it is now is set up into arrondissement. What's that mean? Which are like uh, essentially like neighborhoods, but the like the they actually are numbered. They're numbered districts in Paris. Is it based off income or? No, I mean they're just. That's like the way Paris has always been. I'm sure at one point they were, but they each have like a distinct flavor. You'll notice the graffiti is saying yeah. that those people a part are of, a part they're of a us. part of us. Leapers. The, the leapers. Tram brain, tram pain. I'm sure that's gonna be oddly ominous later. Whoop! These things are everywhere. So this lady is gonna. Here's a riddle. Who was that small child seen flying towards slum 404 through dawn's early light? Olga Sadova. Through hail and sleet like a dread bird of prey. No doubt the infamous bounty hunter is on the trail of errorist escapee Nilin. Remember, dear brain peepers, it was Olga and her husband David who placed 37 errorists in amnesia cells, winning the Dead or Alive prize for 2082. What? Good luck, Olga. She'll need it working solo. So apparently, David's illness abound. So it was a contest. Yeah, they have like to weird... round us up and kill us. Cool, like just people and kill us. Why would you have contests, even if it was, you know, have just. Collecting have, burglars and shit, but it's like really weird that it. What? what have it? have pain, have pain, and pain. Oh, I like the graffiti. It's nice. So these things you have to look and remember. You have to look at these images because another heiress. Only you can see these. Uh huh. Only Nilin can see these, and she'll have to remember. She's looking at somebody else's memory of a spot where they hid a little bonus item. Ooh. So you have to remember. This is your job. Oh, this I'm not is gonna, my job. Because I'm not going to remember. These. Oh, boy. <laughs> so we're seeing this, and we can see in the right corner a little yellow thing. So up here is the where spot. Are the people? And is there a yellow here. thing in the corner? And there is. Right here. See? So we get an health, extra health gauge chunk after we collect five patches. And here's like a nice, nice robot that someone just threw away. Another interesting thing I noticed about this game is that all the subservient robots have a female form. And just listen to me before uh -huh. everyone just starts hear me out. out. Hear me out. I thought it was like a call out to Ghost in the Shell because where am I going? Well. well Because all the the um, robots in Ghost in the Shell that were subservient were of a female form, because people are just more likely to. Can you go under there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. People are just more likely to like having a pretty robot. <laughs> it's like, all right, Mari, chill out. Come on. Robot feminism. God damn it, Mari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dangerously low on health, so I gotta make a combo. And this next combo I'm gonna make is going to make it so that when I successfully do the combo, I regain health because apparently that's how life works. Mari, you know me, I love slapping people to death, so. Cheating slapper. How is that cheating? You had a gun. You slapped me. Oh. I was so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> the 
that it was actually possible to slap someone until it they died. It was so rude. <laughs> how dare you? I demand satisfaction. <laughs> Stacy's talking about how she killed me in Golden, Golden Eye <laughs> by slapping to me to death I'm over never and let over you again. It. Over and over again, she slapped me to get to death in Golden Eye. What's that say? <laughs> Some best mole, just mole. Oh, I don't, I don't um, know what that says, actually, to be honest. Some of this graffiti is in French, so je suis uh que say I am that I that I know. You are what I you know. I am what I know. Ah. Stacy Je suis ce que say. Stacy is semi fluent. Is that a good thing to say in French? Um, I don't competent. I, I'm competent in French. Yeah, I don't use it very often, so it takes me a little while to, like, remember it. Oh, I think that's French. C'est mal, j'ai... C'est mal, j'ai mal. Um, it is bad, I am, I am bad. Ah. I, or I have bad, yeah. Someone is, like, is gonna be like, no. Well, I know, <laughs> and, I, and I welcome people to correct me on things if I get them wrong. But j'ai is I have. So, like, I understand how to translate the words literally, but... Not in terms of meaning? Um, well, yes, in terms of meaning, but, like, somebody who is actually fluent would be able to translate it, like... Better. I, I have pain, or, like, you know, something that's less literal? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Gains PMP as she fights. Prestige material points are used. Nilly gains PMP as she fights. That's what I said the first time, and then I was like, should I make that joke? I'm just gonna go with it. Sorry. No, because I was streaming it. I was like, PIMP! I really like, just came right out of my mouth, and I was like, I'm oh, so no. glad that we both thought of that. <laughs> and oh my I was god, like, that's so funny. I shouldn't make that joke because it's wrong, but then it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be like, that's not funny. And I'm like, well. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But we just let you know that I'm just as guilty as Stacy. So <laughs> let's unlock a new pressin. Do you want to use? Yes. Okay. Now we can have a longer combo. Danger! Ah! Uh, Quick, Stacy, read the French fast. What? Oh no! So I swear we have to. Ah! Uh, Sons, something without me. Get off of me! Without me, without me. Stacy, you need to French as fast as I you did can. I did French. That's what I I said. What it is? That's English. Um. Half pain and pain. So you were right. Yeah. Run! Run! Punish! Give me your face! Your face! I've lost face! Bad child! I, I lied! The flies are eating me! I feel bad for those jumpers because they seem like they're in a lot of them. Leapers. Mental pain. Oh, leapers. A lot of mental pain. I agree. Like the what the things that they're saying make it seem like Oh. 
crazy. Fun fact, dodging is my least favorite thing to do in video games ever. What is? Dodging. Oh. <laughs> dodging attacks, I hate it. This whole entire game is dodging. Yeah. She's very athletic. Yeah. As we're sitting here in our pajamas, all she's day, very athletic. <laughs> covered in potato chips. <laughs> wow, look at her! <laughs> wow, look how athletic she is. I bet I could do that. <laughs> I hate people like that, where they're like, "Oh, I bet I could do that if I worked out." It's like, no, and I'm like, no, 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 you couldn't. They say Stop. if I worked out or trained. I'm like, yeah, that's the thing, though. You didn't. Yeah. <laughs> If you worked out or trained, shit. That's what my boyfriend says sometimes when he watches like Cirque du Soleil. He's like, oh, if I trained, I could do that. But I'm like, yeah, but you, yeah, but you didn't you train. That's so. the point. Yeah. The point is that you could only do it if you trained. That's what people admire for like Leapers years. Are citizens. Leapers were citizens. All right. I'll believe you. Come on, move it. Tommy's waiting for you at the leaking brain. Nellen, your face is like freaking out when you're trying to talk. Hey, Nellen, he keeps trying to tell you that leapers used to be people and you're just not believing it. Can you start? Can you just not? Can please? you? Okay, like there are people too. Is that what you're about to say? Yeah, that's pretty just like much that? what I'm saying. Exactly like that. How do I get out of here? That way. Which way? Where he just came from? I think, uh, there? Let's see? Beware. Oh, nope. I guess not there. Oh, over here. I'm an idiot. No? Just wait until I find a yellow. Oh, here we go. Leapers are citizens of Neo Paris who have formed an addiction to the Sensen implants in their bodies. The abuses of their memories and implant itself eventually lead to the degeneration of their minds and the mysterious disfigurement of their bodies. The first emergent of the Leapers began around 2078, just a year after Sen Sen users were beginning to develop addictions to memorized technology. As Leaper numbers began to grow within Paris, Memorize goes to great lengths to make the public aware of their presence by warning them to stay away from a Leaper should they spot one. 